everyone i'm putting up the october favorites video a little bit earlier this month because there is one time sensitive issue that i wanted to talk about and i thought it'll just be easier to include this in this video i will put here the time where the actual favorite part starts but i just wanted to tell you i am kind of now in a stage of learning i feel like i need to focus on learning and um, I was watching James Burke in one of his videos and he was saying something that really hit the mark for me he was talking about you know if if you want to inspire others then your cup needs to overflow and I guess your creativity part and my cup is so not overflowing right now <laughs> it's been a really challenging year for me and um, yeah I, I feel like I need to go a bit into that space of learning and try to I don't know just focus on my own personal development and you know the downside of it is that I don't know when I will make more courses I really feel like I need to learn more so I can have something <laughs> that <laughs> I can give but the good thing about it is that this process I can totally share on YouTube because um, you know and you can join me in that journey if you want so I decided after much 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 deliberation to sign up for Angela Fair's watercolor mastery course so the course starts October 26th, 2018, and registration closes October 25th. That's why I'm posting this video. If you're interested on signing on, this course is quite pricey. That's why I didn't join the previous two times that she um, ran it. And this time I really felt like I needed this. Now, there is a 30-day money back, money back money back guarantee <laughs> so if the course is live it's over a period of six weeks and every week um, there's new content so within 30 days technically I won't be able to see the whole course material I doubt I will um, be unhappy because I have taken classes with Angela like several of her other classes probably most of her classes I've taken and I was always very uh, happy with the course and my own personal development. So I doubt it, but in case you are hesitant, um, you know, there is that possibility. Now, another thing, I this video is not sponsored. I purchased that course for my own money. I, fa I, I, fa I paid full price. It costs $199. So... That was a bit hard to take, but having looked through the curriculum and read other students' reviews, and I've also looked now a little bit in the discussion groups from the previous times that the course went live, um, I feel like it is a fair price. And Angela also says that next year the price will go up for this course. So especially considering how her other classes, most of them are very, very um, well-priced. So she has a lot of courses within that $40 um, area. So I really feel that if she priced this the way that she did, it's for good reason. Now, I do have an affiliate link. That means that if you use my link to sign up for any of her courses, I get a small commission. Of course, you don't have to use that link, but it is below. Of course, it helps me and I will I would really appreciate it if you do decide to sign up if you use my link. But what I wanted to say is I will be taking this course hopefully I will be also participating there in the discussion groups and sharing my work and if you think this is something you're interested in um, I will link you to Angela's course uh, Angela's channel because she explains it a lot better than I can um, but basically it's a course for people who are already familiar with um, watercolor techniques and have been painting for a certain amount of time 
but kind of want to take it to the next level and um, yeah I am excited to go there because I really feel I need a little bit of I don't know something something extra I've been watching a lot of the artist network TV I still highly highly recommend that that is probably the best deal out there if you want to take online classes in art or mixed media watercolors acrylics they offer a huge variety of excellent excellent instructional videos and i'm focused now on watercolors that's my thing but if you're into mixed media you have people there like you know dina wakeley and jody all and like really great artists you get there, if you pay $19 or $19.99 or something, you get access to hundreds of videos and you can cancel at any time. So if you're kind of more, you know, you want a little bit of this, a little bit of that, or if you're on a budget, don't hesitate. Go to the Artist Network TV. It's fantastic. I've been watching lately. Um, I just started today a video from Jean Haynes, a new one that I haven't seen before. I've watched uh, a few of her other videos in the past, like last year or the year before that. And I've also been watching Thomas Schaller, I want to say his name. I will link you, um, I will link, or I will write the names of the courses that I've been enjoying. I also mentioned them in my studio video, studio vlog type video. I will link you there to that video. Um, so I've just been really learning but also painting because that's I feel like that's when I kind of go into myself and I lose my confidence or my direction I stop painting and I go and watch other people paint and while that is important um, I feel like I need to combine the two so I do paint daily I try not to put too much pressure um, somewhere I think I got an email from Angela Fair and she was writing that you know her goal is to ruin 50 paintings or something like that and I thought hey I can do that I can totally ruin 50 paintings so I've been working hard on that <laughs> just playing around and yeah so if you want to join me on that journey you know that would be great to do this kind of together and I'm signed up for this course and I'm really hoping that I will get uh, a lot out of it. So let's get to this month's favorites. I'll start with the most new and exciting one and that is my new kind of studio palette. So this is heavy stuff. This is from uh, Porcelain and it is, I got it from Jackson's Art. I also showed it in the um, video but in my last video it was completely empty so I have in the meantime added some paints here I'm trying to kind of take it slow and not feel like I'm too committed <laughs> to <laughs> what I have here um, I'll show you uh, a better close-up of the of the palette here but basically I'm really really enjoying it I feel like the large um, wells are working really well for me now because I'm mostly painting not in the smaller sketchbooks which I've done in the last months. Uh, for that my regular half pans were great I didn't feel any they were great but now I switched to a bit a larger format which I'll show you in a second and I feel like I need it works better with bigger wells. I use bigger brushes. There's a lot of water. I, I work with very wet uh, paint. So um, this palette is working really well for me. I also decided to set it up in a somewhat similar way to what I saw Thomas Schaller. Gosh, I hope I'm <laughs> remembering his name right. But his palette is kind of organized from light to dark. And I think that's a really good setup for me instead of, you know, like yellows, reds, magentas, purples, blues, greens. Um, I think this works better. I mean, it's still organized a, a little bit by color, but I'm also keeping that light to dark um, arrangement and that's working really well and I'm just kind of putting paint as I paint and I think while what I'll do with it 
is kind of keep the wells because it doesn't have a ton of wells i think i will have you know for example a well for like transparent yellows and just fill it up with what i have in my um, stash one color that i am i'm kind of hoping i will get enough um money on my jackson uh, affiliate i want to thank you everyone that uses my link and buys uh, at Jackson's Art Supplies through that link. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And that's where I buy my art supplies. Also when I don't have that um, extra money, just because they have probably the best range I've seen in a European store. Shipping is fantastic. Pricing is fantastic. They have great sales. Just the range is incredible. And um, yeah, I... I buy there whether I have money there or not in my affiliate uh, account but um, that's where I shop so my next favorite is the um, something maroon <laughs> I'll put the name here so we can enjoy it because I can't pronounce it no I actually I didn't it's not the full name on here so I'm not sure which um, how it's pronounced but this is from Daniel Smith and it is such a gorgeous color i absolutely love it and you can see that my pan is very very well loved and used and um i think this color i'm doing a lot of kind of autumn themed paintings and i love this color for that it's gorgeous it re-wets beautifully, you know, that's not always the case with all the Daniel Smith paints. Some re-wet beautifully, like New Gamboge and, um, and this one, the maroon one. I absolutely love this color and I want to get a tube, but they're so expensive, so we'll see how that goes. So that's my next uh, favorite. Now, a couple of other fun tools that I've been really enjoying while learning a bit about... Uh, more a little bit about the landscape painting and that sort of thing like a lot of trees and grass I've been really enjoying using these so this is like a sea sponge thingy it comes in uh, a pack it costs a few dollars you can find these packs on Amazon I got mine from Jackson's I'm pretty sure I will link you to everything I'm talking about um, in the description box and I just I love I, using these I use these to like stamp kind of like a leaf texture in a tree uh, I use it also to blend a little bit the edges if I'm not really happy with the edges that I applied with a brush I've been really painting like with the brush in one hand and the sponge in the other and really enjoying it and then a similar tool is this brush from Jackson's so that's how it looks so this is the brush it's kind of it's not really really rough but you know it's rougher than my regular brushes and this is really great for grassy texture so and also kind of blending edges so I've also been using this you know one hand with my paintbrush with my pigment and water and then with the other just playing around with this one I've been really enjoying it and all this playtime I've been doing in my last favorite for this month my last favorite is this ginormous journal so this is a cuddy another one of the cuddy journals I showed you the smaller one in my probably September favorites and I've had this in my stash for a couple of years, I guess. I started playing with it. Mostly I um, I showed a little bit in the other video. I was doing a lot of just loose, just playtime. Being really loose with colors. Doing like nothing, you know, some of this is like really nothing. Really playtime, I would say. Um, also doing some florals for my um, sketching florals with watercolor because I just love how this paper reacts so I'll just give you a look on just 
the texture is beautiful and this is rough paper so I've been just really enjoying using this journal for me I prefer to use a journal than single sheets although I'm guessing I'll when I'm done with these journals that I have on hand I will move on to single sheets enjoying kind of a more autumnal uh, color palette just just having fun you can see really kind of pushing the limits not caring about the result but more about the process just the daily practice of painting and um, experimenting with different color schemes different techniques so kind of letting go on the whole making a pretty finished painting idea for now and focusing on the learning experience and the joy of painting and you know as I said getting into that daily practice zone so I hope you enjoyed this video I do have a request for you if you have watched this far hopefully um, I'm going to do a favorite series hopefully next month so towards the end of the year towards you know the holiday season to give you ideas of you know my favorite products what I think is worth investing treating yourself getting um, presents for your arty crafty friends so I'm definitely going to do a few on watercolors art journaling, sketching probably, but if you have any specific requests, um, please let me know in the description box. I'll probably do like affordable sets or, you know, beginner sets, that, that type of thing, but uh, I would really love to know what you want to see, so leave me uh, a comment. Sorry, this was a bit long and rambling, but I hope you enjoyed it and... Um, yeah, links to everything down below. I wish you a wonderful, creative day, month, week. Bye.